Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, then welcome. Do stick around for hauls and vlogs, all things beauty, home and lifestyle. So today I'm going to be doing a what I got for my birthday haul. Um, it's something that I really like to watch on YouTube and personally, I like to look back on things like this um, for the memories. So yeah, I thought I would do a sit down video, show you what I got. Um, some things I gift and then a few bits I've actually trekked myself to as well. Um, so yeah, um, it's probably going to be a bit of a long video, I'm not going to lie because I'm looking at everything and I'm like, yeah, this is going to take a while. Um, so grab yourself a drink, get comfortable and I might as well talk about the first product because I have got a big cup of tea with me um, which I'll be drinking throughout the haul and this is actually a birthday present that my sister chose I believe um, which is a mug from Dunelm and it is so so pretty um, it's obviously like an ombre well kind of a three-tone effect um, it was five pound and yeah it's very big from Dunelm very good quality and I've already had a coffee and now a tea in it. So I'm um, definitely going to good use already. Um, so that is the first product. We have got quite a mix as well. I've got some things um, from TK Maxx and um, some autumnal candles. I've got a few bits of makeup, some home bits. I've got um, some Halloween and Disney Halloween things from Asta, some Lush products and then some random things as well. So yeah, um, bear with me. I think I'm going to do TK Maxx things first. Um, so these are things that I actually chose when in TK Maxx with my mum and she bought them and like wrapped them up for me. Um, so the first product is an autumnal candle and this is um, very like farmhouse. Um, kind of vibes with the ribbon that's around it. It is the DW Home Apple Honey Butter and it is in a gorgeous jar and this smells amazing. What I will say is when it gets to autumn, I am all for the autumn and Halloween candles that come out, but some festive scents I'm just not a fan of. Um, I've actually got a pumpkin candle burning behind me, um, but sometimes like the candles that are pumpkin and cinnamon and like spiced just are a little bit too strong for me and not my kind of thing i much prefer like fruity sweet scents um but yeah this one is honestly gorgeous so if you do see this in tk max i would definitely recommend smells so so nice so that is the first product and it was six pound well 5.99 um, we've got another candle which is from Light Candle Co and this is the Happy Halloween candle which is in a gorgeous orange jar and same with this one like there were so many Halloween candles that were really really pretty and I really wanted to get them but they just didn't smell nice and although I am a bit of a hoarder when it comes to candles I thought I'm not going to buy it unless I'm going to use it um, or even if I am going to have it on show obviously with the lid off I still need to like the smell so um, this one was £6.99 and um, got a gorgeous lid with some bats on and it's gold and then obviously the jar is orange so it's definitely going to go with the rest of my autumnal um, decor so that is the next one. We've got another candle which is again from DW Home. This is one of my favourite brands for candles and um, which obviously is sold in TK Maxx and Home Sense. Um, so this is Autumn Sky and it is such a gorgeous jar. I picked this one because with it being like a really pretty tealy blue and um, this will go in my living room, my bedroom, even the downstairs toilet because I do have quite a few teal walls in the house. Um, but yeah I absolutely loved the jar of this one and again really like the scent of this it's kind of i don't know how to describe it i don't know if it says on there no i won't be able to describe that scent, but i like it um it's a really big candle it will burn for approximately 56 hours and i'm not sure how much this one is because i think my mum's took the price off even though obviously i was there when they were all bought but yeah that is the next candles i cannot wait to get those candles um, up in the living room or wherever I put them and lit um, obviously as I said I've got one on in the background but it is definitely candle season so yeah this is a Halloween glass and it is I don't know if there's a brand name on here no don't think it tells me what the brand is um, but this again was from TK Maxx it was 4 dollars and I just thought this was really really pretty it's obviously got like the orange um, stem and bottom and then the top is clear with different um, like black Halloween images so we've got like a haunted house some skulls a witch 
pumpkins you name it it's on there um, and yeah I just thought this was really nice like I don't drink alcohol like so obviously I won't really use this as a wine glass um, but I drink a lot of Pepsi Max so <laughs> I thought it might just look you know kind of cool in there um, and I've got a lot of autumn and Halloween mugs again there was quite nice ones in TK Maxx um, but I thought I've already got enough um, but whereas a glass I don't have any glasses so yeah that is the next one the Halloween edition for the kitchen is a salt and pepper shaker, which I think is so cute. Um, this was, again, my mum took the price off. It was only a couple of pounds, maybe £3.99. Um, it's a little black cat and pumpkin. Obviously, you pop your salt and pepper in there. I mean, in all fairness, though, you could just use them as decorations if you didn't want to. Um, but I personally love autumnal and seasonal decor. So I'm going to use it obviously through um, the next couple of months, pop them in my kitchen. And I just thought they were so cute. I really love the pumpkin as well, which is a bit difficult to get out. There we go. How cute is that? I would definitely buy like more seasonal salt and pepper shakers. So maybe I can get like a Christmas set and a spring set and a summer set. Um, yeah, I'm a little bit over the top, but it's okay that's everything from tk maxx i'm now going to go on to some more homey bits and um, just sticking with that same kind of theme so these are some dried they're kind of like pampas grass but obviously they're small so i don't know what the actual term is for them um but they're little fluffy dried flowers and I believe, yeah, there's like two sizes. One's a little bit shorter. I think my sister got these off Pretty Little Thing um, off the home section. And I just thought these were really nice. I actually seen them and pointed them out to her because I've got this um, vase in my bedroom from Tesco, um, which looks kind of boho. And I wanted something like this to go in there. So yeah, she picked those for me. So I'll probably put some in my bedroom and then find another vase or something um, for the other ones, maybe in the kitchen or the living room. Um, so that is the next thing and they're so so cute I didn't actually realize how much home stuff pretty little thing did we've also got a fake plant which I am buzzing about I mean you could have this up all year round but obviously it is very autumnal because of the colors so this is from Donnell I'm not sure how much this one was because I took the price off but it has a gorgeous little pot there which is kind of like cream to yellow and then obviously the actual like plant well fake plant leaves are like a yellowy colour um, so I think this will look very nice with my autumn decor or after autumn would just look nice maybe in my bedroom because I do have a bit of mustard yellow um, and some kind of like boho and brown tones in there so I think that might look quite nice in there behind me i think yeah we'll pop that there <laughs> um the next product is a little candle and um, which jess chose me from premark it's the sandalwood scented candle um from premark with a gold lid and it's obviously this like really pretty amber color um it's very clear that brown is very in fashion at the minute like chocolate brown and do you know what i'm all for it because i do think it looks nice especially on autumn it's a very autumnal color i um, not sure if I'd love it as much in spring. Um, talking about chocolate brown, she also bought me this hoodie, um, which was from Pretty Little Thing, um, which is in chocolate brown. And I wore it when I went to Newcastle. It's really, really comfy and cosy. And I do actually think I suit this colour because I don't suit like nude colours really um, because of my skin tone. Uh, but chocolate brown, I think... I think that's fine. <laughs> I think that suits me. Um, but yeah, this candle, as I said, was from Primark. Again, the price has been taken off. Quite like the scent. It's quite subtle sandalwood. Um, and yeah, again, the jar is just super, super pretty. Another thing um, which I think my mum bought, but Jess showed her, um, because I've mentioned this to Jess before, is a little basket from Dunnell. And I was actually going to buy it for myself a while ago because... Um, I thought it would go quite nice either in my bathroom or my bedroom. So it's got like the French cane front and then it's just like a wooden box. Um, I'm going to probably put this on a windowsill and put like face masks and things in it, I think. Um, obviously, we'll see. Um, but yeah, it's just really, really nice. And I know that they do a lot of other products in this same like style in Dunelm. Um, so if you're all about the French cane look, definitely look in Dunelm. But I do think I saw this in B&M as well um but yeah really really like that not sure how much it was um 
I'm trying to think actually, it might, might have been £10, I don't know. Next I'm going to go through the Lush things and then go on to the Disney slash Halloween. So, um, went to Lush in Newcastle while we were there. I don't know where to put the bag because there's literally stuff all over my desk. My camera's now shaking. Yeah, went to Lush in Newcastle. There isn't one here uh, where I live. So whenever I go anywhere that has a Lush, I obviously have to pop in. Now I was very, very restrictive of myself because I've received a lot of great bath bombs um, and other bath products recently from some brands. And um, so I've definitely got enough to last me a long time. But I couldn't resist at least looking in and getting one or two things. So the first thing is one of the new bath bombs for uh, Halloween. And it's the bat one, which is really, really shimmery. Like the glitter's going all over me. Smells so nice. I don't know what the smell is. Obviously, you'd be able to see it on the website. But it smells amazing, in my opinion. Probably going to leave my bath um black and glittery um but yeah i just thought that was really really cool uh, for halloween so i probably will actually leave that one to like halloween night um and they did have some other amazing products they had like the jelly octopus which i thought was amazing they had an alien the pumpkin that was out last year as well so yeah they had a really great range of products i got that one and then i got another bath item but i got this one because it will be good for my eczema i've had it before and it's really really soothing and calming for the skin um, I forgot the name of it. I think it's like something cauldron. I mean, obviously it doesn't look like a cauldron, but it's in this like netted bag. And I know that there's oats in there and it's like a bath oil. So it's quite a large one. Um, you just pop it in the bath. It melts away. And as I said, it is really, really nice and soothing for my skin um, because I suffer with eczema. But at the minute I've had the biggest, worst breakout ever. Um, so when I went in, I thought I'm definitely going to get one of these because I know that this will really help. If anybody else has any eczema product tips as well, do let me know because as I said, it is so bad right now. Uh, but yeah, got that. And one last thing, James also did get himself a bath bomb, which he's already used in the bath today. So yeah, as I said, we were at Newcastle and we stayed in a hotel. I also bought the shower bomb. Um, I think there's a couple of different ones, but it's one that kind of looks like a cloud. Um, so I bought that and I wanted to get a face mask as well just to mainly use that night to have like a pamper evening in the hotel just ran out of my last lush face mask so i thought i would get another one and this is the beauty sleep which is a face and body mask it says a luxurious face mask with an extra spoon of gorgeous it may even help you sleep um so yeah this is a self-preserving one and i feel like it might have lavender in and um, with it obviously saying it might help you sleep and it, it's called beauty sleep like a really pretty purpley pink color i'm not really sure what you would call that color uh, but yeah i used it last night and my skin felt so nice after it and even when i woke up like i was like my skin looks great and <laughs> uh, so yeah definitely works in my opinion so far so good so the next things i have are from asda and it is some halloween and disney halloween things so i actually bought myself the day before my birthday but I went into Asda just to get something to eat with James uh, for our tea. When I saw the Halloween range they had, I was literally like blown away because at this point, most of the shops have run out of everything decent. So to see their Halloween range and the fact that it was mostly full on an evening and still had the amazing products left, I was like, I just need a minute. Uh, <laughs> so I bought myself a few things. I'll start off with the two Disney things that I have because I'm sure everyone's like, show me the Disney. I did actually see somebody on Instagram who's like a Disney blogger um, who posted loads of photos and videos of the range. Um, and I don't think they had the full range where I went, but everything that I saw I thought was amazing. They had some really nice light up things and um, quite a lot of like Mickey and Minnie things, um, some pumpkins. But these are the two things that I chose. So the first one is a sign which was just £1.50, yeah, £1.50, which I thought was really affordable. Um, and it's Mickey Mouse and it says, Happy Halloween. And I just thought this would be really nice either in the kitchen or like the hallway. Um, yeah, really, really nice little sign and um, that you can hang up and obviously got mickey mouse on it so who wouldn't love it and um, just something simple as i said it was one pound fifty so i thought i might as well get that um and i don't really have any signs or pictures or anything like that so i thought that would be really nice because i know that i definitely don't have anything like that 
and then the other product i got i forgot how much this was because i've already took the label off um but it's like a little bag i'd say a tote bag but a tote bag's a specific material because this feels i don't know what the material is but it feels like it would be waterproof or water resistant i'm gonna say 100% polyester if that if that helps anyone <laughs> I have no idea about fabrics um but yeah it feels like if you took it out and it was pouring down a rain like the bag would be fine maybe not the stuff inside it <laughs> but the bag would be fine um so yeah this is Mickey and Minnie shaped pumpkin heads on the bag as a print with bats and stars and moons um and I just thought this was really pretty they did have um some other ones available um, and I think they actually did have one that looked a bit like this but on the bag um but I really like this one and I thought um because obviously it's like a tote bag style I can just roll it up and pop it in my handbag in case I'm doing any shopping um but yeah I just couldn't resist I thought that was really really cute and then a few other things that I got just from I think the general Halloween range I'll just get them out of the bag so I saw quite a few pumpkins and I saw a red velvet pumpkin and I was like oh my god I love that that would go like really nice in the living room but then I saw they had it in black and I was like, well, I need that. I need that. This was £4, which I thought was amazing for what it is because it's really good quality and it's like obviously like a velvet pumpkin with a gold stem and it's just really big. I mean, you can see it's like bigger than my head. Um, but yeah, I was honestly amazed that they still had these. I thought these would go really quick um, and I think it'd be a really nice addition to my living room because I've got a, quite a bit of black in there. Um, so yeah velvet big black pumpkin love it um so that's the first pumpkin and then i got two little ones so i got this one which is white and black stars and this one, again i've took the prices off i think they were a pound each these ones um and this one is just plain black and i do think they have some orange ones as well but i've got loads of orange pumpkins so um but i don't have any black or white ones and i'm pretty sure they have things like this in the pound shop last year but actual pots and i couldn't get my hands on any of them and i was really sad about it so these are plastic and um, so obviously they're not you know pots but again just perfect you know little halloween decorations and um, which i'm going to probably put up now to be honest jim said i should get black and white because he supports newcastle united but i just got them because i thought they'd be cute probably in my living room um so yeah i probably pop them in the living room with the other pumpkin and then the last thing i got was an ice cube tray now anybody that knows me knows that i'm obsessed with ice cubes i have to have them in my drink and i eat them as well which probably means i've got iron deficiency or something and i probably am ruining my teeth but let's just forget about that for right now I've got an ice cube tray which is in a Halloween design so it's got skulls and um, bones and I thought this would be really good obviously one because I have ice cubes all the time or two if I'm having a Halloween party it'll be good for the drinks so this was two pound which I thought was really good and obviously I will keep that like year after year as well and it's silicone but you could to be honest put chocolate in there to make a Halloween shaped chocolate um I don't know what else people put in moulds um but yeah you could definitely use it for ice or chocolate <laughs> so a few fashion slash beauty things the first thing i have is from sainsbury's so it's from the tu range and it is a mustard little backpack which i think is so so cute this is actually on sale for i think seven pound which i thought was amazing because this would be perfect for me like just to take to work or if i was going out i actually took it to newcastle um with my stuff in and i managed to fit everything in there so my grandma actually got me this as i said from sainsbury's um i've obviously already started to use it and i just thought it was really nice so we've got like a mustard um yellow leather strap um and then obviously like a little section at the front and it just zips up so i thought that was really cute and she also bought me this which again was from the tu section in sainsbury's and it is a really really cozy jumper i actually had something similar that i was really jealous of so i was really pleased to actually see something um that was quite like it so it's obviously got three tones kind of matches my mug <laughs> um so yeah it's obviously got like the cream i don't know even know what color that is maybe like a nude and then like the brown 
and it is so soft and comfy and what i will say is when it gets to like this kind of season like sweater weather um some jumpers make my skin like really irritated obviously as i said i've got eczema and, like sensitive skin and um, but things like this because it's so soft like that's fine for me to wear and um, so when i saw it i thought i might as well get it because you know i might not see them again and as i said the material was just so nice so yeah got that little jumper i can't remember how much that was but it was affordable i keep brushing my hair and i cannot believe how frizzy it is because i literally straightened it less than an hour ago and normally it only does this when i go outside in the rain or like if it's humid so never mind <laughs> moving on so some other bits we've got some slippers from Primark and they're just like slider style ones a memory foam um, a really pretty like charcoal grey colour and I got them in a small one my mum got me them in a small because I am like a three or four which is that size and they're quite thick as well so I thought they'd be nice because my current slippers are looking a little bit worse for wear also got some pyjamas again from Primark like that is my favourite place to go for pyjamas um, I've had pyjamas from other places before but 100% always go to Primark this one is a short sleeve set and it's just got like a really pretty kind of greeny blue top um, and then the bottoms just have some triangles on and I really like the fit of those ones we've then got the soft touch pyjamas which obviously I don't know how much these were but are in a navy print with white spots um, and it's like a long sleeve jumper and um, trousers so that'll be really good as it gets a bit colder because I'm not somebody that can really sleep in like really thick fluffy pyjamas um, but definitely when it gets to this season I can't walk around the house um, or go to bed in like short <laughs> then the other one which i believe my sister picked for me is the garfield ones which are super super cute and uh, so it's got garfield on the front and then these are the patterned bottoms so yeah three pairs of pajamas um which i can't complain with really because the last couple of years more than ever i have spent the majority of my time in pajamas probably like many other people because i haven't been going out um so i'd say like my pajamas have become a lot more worn more quickly <laughs> and so definitely appreciate some new pajamas also got a few beauty bits so my sister picked this for me on pretty little thing and it's the i heart revolution heartbreakers shadow palette which i think is so cute and um, i believe it's called courage this palette um, and obviously it's really pretty it's got like reds and yellow and browns and pinks um, which I really like because this would be perfect for autumn and I've actually already used it today um, so yeah I really love these colours and it's a really nice little sized palette I used to buy eyeshadows a lot um, and I don't really buy them as much anymore but I do still love a good eyeshadow look I think this kind of size is really good because obviously you could take it on the go with you and um, with it being quite compact and I and I absolutely love Revolution makeup. I think it's amazing. Um, something else from Revolution, but this is from the skincare collection. It is the Sticky Toffee Pudding Lip Mask, which I think sounds amazing. Um, I actually saw this on the website. Um, my sister was saying it's a lot smaller than she thought it would be, but because it's a lip mask, I'm not surprised it is that size. Let's get it out of the packet so you can see what it looks like. It's got a cute little picture on the front. Um, and it definitely looks like sticky toffee, like pudding. Oh, that smells so nice. I'm going to really enjoy using that. I don't really use lip masks a lot. But yeah, I thought the texture and the colour just looked really, really autumnal. Take a shot every time I say autumnal. Um, but it is my favourite season though. I'm really happy that I'm like a September baby because autumn is my time. Um, obviously, it's like September, my birthday, and then you know autumn really kicks in and then it's halloween and bonfire night and it's all about the hot chocolates and the candles and everything's pumpkin and cozy and then of course it's christmas so it's definitely my favorite time of year again i believe from pretty little thing my sister got me a hair clip because apparently these are fashionable at the minute and she's clearly trying to make me fashionable with my chocolate brown um hoodie and uh, hair clip um but yeah i do actually really like the print of this and it's something i would choose myself and it will definitely come in handy i don't normally wear my hair up when i go out um but in the house um this will be really really useful 
also got me these Halloween balloons from the Pretty Little Thing website, which are cat balloons with black iridescent whiskers and ears. Um, and I am thinking of having a Halloween party, so these will come in really, really handy for then. Um, but I did see them on the website and I told her how, like, how cute they looked. And also they did um, a donut stand, which I think actually would have been a good idea because I do have a donut making kit. Um, but equally, I didn't really want to get it just in case the donuts end up being a fail. Then I won't really want to display them on a big bat um, display. But yeah, their Halloween range was really, really good. Again, pretty little thing. You can tell that she loves her pretty little thing. Um, we've got some pumpkin socks, which honestly, I bloody love them. I was saying like, I will go out the house happily with these socks on and like my jeans rolled up so people can see the pumpkins. I'm not ashamed of loving pumpkin socks. Um, so yeah, really cute white socks with pumpkin print on. As I said from Pretty Little Thing, they were just a few pound. I would wear them all year round to be honest. <laughs> I love pattern socks. Um, she also got me this from Revolution, which is a little headband, which is in a leopard print. Um, I do already have headbands, but when I saw that I thought, That'd be so cute again for autumn. I mean, again, like all year round, but just really pretty, isn't it? For when I'm doing my skincare and hair masks. Why did I do that? Um, really soft as well. That'll come in very, very useful. I think this is where things start to get a bit random. Uh, my mum got me a cushion cover in this really pretty burnt orange colour. Um, so in my living room, I've got a teal wall. Um, and then I've got some pictures which are teal, orange and pink. Um, so I'm wanting to incorporate a little bit more orange and pink into the living room. Um, so as I'd already mentioned that to her, she bought me this uh, cushion cover from Donnell, which feels like really good quality. And I absolutely love this shade. Next, I've got a cleaning product which my sister bought me, which is so typical of her because she loves cleaning and um, this is the method all floor cleaner and the scent wild rhubarb she cleaned my house with me um a few weeks ago and when she was cleaning the bathroom floor this made the floor just so clean and um, at the minute obviously because of my bath mat under it it does go a little bit yellow and um, from obviously like the water and everything um, and honestly it just yeah it just completely took away that color so when she used it i was like i need that and she's bought me it so i'll definitely enjoy using it and for some reason i just love like the bottle i just think the bottle looks really cool not that that really makes too much of a difference but i mean it helps right <laughs> okay more random things um so we've got a label maker um this is from the range and it is the brother p touch labeling machine my mum for a label maker just because you see people on Instagram labelling the jars for the pantry and things like that and you just become hooked with it. Um, I don't even have my pantry done yet, which is going to be in the understair cupboard. I'm going to have some shelves and jars and I don't even have that yet. Um, but I thought I might as well get a label maker and it will be helpful when putting away decorations. Um, I've got some new boxes for the spare room for the storage unit, so it'll be helpful for them. Or even just to label things like cleaning products so James actually knows what they're for. It does come with a tape on the bottom of it. Also from the range, my mum got me a cordless hot glue gun, which has a stand. Um, again, like this actually comes with some of the glue sticks that you need. I've been watching a lot of Rosie Henshaw's craft videos recently, and I love a craft. Any time of the year, I love a craft, but especially in autumn and Christmas. Um, you know, making anything for Halloween or like even Christmas cards and decorations, I just absolutely love it. So I thought I'd ask um, for one of these on my birthday list this year. Um, and then I've got it just in case I decide to make anything. Um, so yeah, a hot glue gun, which is from the range. Another random thing that my mum got me is a soup mug. Um, I saw this in Aldi and I thought it was really cool and she bought me it. Um, but I don't really have anything designed to go in the microwave. I don't know if that's weird. I just usually put things in bowls. Um, but when I saw this, I thought that would actually be quite useful for soup and pasta and things. Um, and it's obviously black with white spots. So I thought that was cool. And then a few things that James's mum got me. Um, firstly, she got me this water bottle that has cats on, which I'm obsessed with because as you may know, I am a cat mom. I've got a fur baby called Miley. Um, and yeah, I've definitely turned into a bit of a crazy cat lady. Um, 
this past year um so this fall is obviously like a really pretty blue with cats on and i believe it's from wilkinson's i've also got the matching travel mug which i think will come in really really useful especially with the colder weather coming in um i might obviously be like taking hot drinks to work and things um so yeah we've got a travel mug she also got me some items from party light so we've got this um i don't know if it's like for tea lights or votives it could be for both but it's a little holder um it's got a black bottom and then the glass is actually leopard print with different colors and i think this will look so good in my living room and um, because we do have a bit of like an animal theme going on and we've got have like some pinks and blues and then the black will go with um some of the units that we've got in the living room so yeah really like that and she also got me some candles to go with it which is one of the little sample boxes the you're so fruity one which i've had before but they do change up the colours and scents in them. Um, but I do always know that I like the fruity one because, of course, it's going to be fruity scented ones. So this smells amazing, this box here. And I believe we've got Boho Berry, which is the purple. Cucumber Clementine, which is the green. And then I think the white ones is Ice Snowberries. And um, so, yeah, really, really gorgeous fruity candles from Party Light. So that is everything for my what I got for my birthday haul. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this video. As I said, I love watching these myself. I am, as usual, very much blown away with what I've got, feeling very spoiled and grateful. And yeah, just some amazing products. We've got obviously some homeware, some autumn and Halloween things, some bath and beauty. Yeah, a really nice selection of products, which I'm gonna really, really enjoy using over the next couple of weeks and months. Um, I will probably be posting pictures of things like this on my Instagram, which will be linked below. Um, and also some pictures of my time um, at newcastle and just yeah in general lots of autumn and halloween pictures and um, so do make sure you follow me on there if you've got any video requests or want to have a chat go and pop a comment in the comment section and um, if you haven't already i would love it if you did go and subscribe and i will see you in my next video